Okay, now for part three, we're going to add a name between these two bars on this Superman logo. So I'm going to type out my name. And once again, change the font to whatever font you're wanting to use. Now I'm going to size this down to fit between these bars. And this is going to need stretched a little bit, but we'll just do it like that for this example. Okay, now I'm going to align that in the center. All right, now I want to add this font here, so I'm going to convert this to a path. So I'm going to go up here, object, oh, sorry, path, object to path. And then I'm going to ungroup it, path, oh, object, ungroup. Now I'm going to path, union, make that all one path. So now that's ready to union to this design. Now the reason these are a little trickier is if I take this path that I've just made and select this path, if I go path, union, like you would on the tree, as you can see, I'm going to lose most of my design there because this path has open lines. When you union to it, it really screws it up. So I'm going to go control Z to back that up. Now what you do here on this type of design is select the path and then you can go path, break apart. And that breaks that apart to where that's all individual pieces there now. Now to add this name to that, what I want to do is select this outside contour, hold shift, select this outside contour, and then hold shift and select my font. Now I can go path, union, and that font will union to that outside contour there all the way around top and bottom. Then I would take and drag a box around everything and hit control K or path combine is what that is. Now that's unioned, the fonts unioned in there, the paths combined, it's all one path. If you come over here to select the nodes, you can see that's all one path. I can now send that to the cutter and cut it. So that's how you add a font, union it between two bars like this on a path with open lines like this. So that'll be the end of part three. Then we'll jump over here to this monogram here with open lines.